it all came as a little bit of a shock. It was out the blue. It, it was a complete surprise. You don't realise that you've got it. I'd seen my optician for a regular checkup, and it, it did take nearly six months to actually get the full diagnosis. And during that time, I didn't know anything about glaucoma. Uh, to be honest, I panicked because I, I assumed I would be losing my sight. I remember the um, consultant sitting with me and said, oh, well, we think you have glaucoma. I remember feeling afraid, you know, thinking, what? What is this? You know, I've never heard of it. Is it, is it something that can be uh, fixed? I just remember saying to the optometrist, oh, glaucoma, right. You know, what does that entail? And him saying, oh, well, you know, you'll need to take eye drops. And this was the very sobering moment. I said, oh, yeah, so how long will I need to take those for? Uh, and he said, oh, that'll be for the rest of your life. And uh, I just remember that really kind of hit me. I do a lot of driving and it's, yeah, I'm on the road three or four days a week and drive the best part of 30,000 miles. It would have had a massive impact on me work-wise to suddenly find myself not being able to, to drive. It just makes you realise that to lose your sight is really, it's a, it's a precious thing. It was quite a scary time. I didn't really get a great deal of information about, about the condition. I was just diagnosed with it. As the first consultant I saw was actually very helpful she, and she did if she had time she would answer the question but when she once she left uh, it was difficult. The more I've read up through organisations like Glaucoma UK about you know what to expect what the diagnosis means and some of the technical jargon it's been an awful lot more reassuring and I'm, I'm a lot less concerned about what the future might hold. It is a bit like living with a sort of ticking time bomb in that you never know whether it's going to develop further. I do get anxious every time I'm going to a, either an optician appointment or the hospital because I just wait for them to say the pressure's gone up again and see what they're going to do about it. Nobody can tell you for sure whether it's going to remain as it is or whether it's going to get worse. And I think that's that's the one difficulty I've got with it.